Hey, what's up, busy bees? Welcome back to my channel. I pray all is well with you. Um, I just wanted to talk about becoming that girl. So, becoming that girl is something everybody I see is doing. You know, I'm that girl. I'm that girl. This and I'm that girl that and I and I totally totally get it um because I'm learning and I'm pretty sure you all know the same thing that becoming that girl is different to everybody it looks so different to every single woman okay so becoming that girl what does that mean to you what does that mean to me so I I started a journey um, in late 2017. I the journey was self development. I it was like a new year. Um, we, well, we were looking to go into the new year 2018, and I started to reflect. And as I was reflecting, I was like, "Girl, you got some work to do." Um, no more. Like I had felt like I was at a point where I was drawing the line in my life, like you, you got to get better. You got to get better. You have to stop, um, pushing things off to tomorrow. I mean, the self, well, the introspection that I was doing for myself probably would have tore a lot of people down, but it's something I do at the end of the, every year. Um, uh, mentally, I want to, uh, look to see, have I done everything that I started out to do this year? Have I accomplished any goals? And just to really dive into what my year looked like. So in 2017, it um, when I started to look back at my year, I was like, it wasn't a good year for me. I was um, kind of hated. I had the daycare business and I had gotten to the point where I was bored. I was bored. I was doing the same thing over and over again. Um, and I just had, you know, had enough. I felt like I wasn't making any money in it. Um, and I did not feel appreciated for my, the clients that I had. I didn't feel appreciated, not to mention, um, the money wasn't there. So I'm doing a job and not getting paid really. And I, don't even, you know, I, I was just going through. Hallelujah. Okay. So with that being said, that was like the whole year of 2017. I don't even know. I might've been depressed and just didn't know it at the time. But um, at the end of it, I usually get very excited because for one thing, I love November. Um, actually, it begins around September, October when the weather begins to change and, you know, it's starting to get a little bit cold and we usually go apple picking with a bunch of friends and family. So it was right, right around that time I get like these extra like joy, just so happy Christmas is coming. And, you know, so I'm super duper excited about that. Um, and the day, the days are going to the weeks and then here we are from September to December, and I'm starting to look back into January, look back over, and then I'm looking into January, and I'm like, no more New Year's resolutions. Boo! No more. So what I did was, me and a good girlfriend, we began to say, okay, so we're going to work on our weight we're going to work on our money. We're going to work. So we looked at specific things that we were going to wait on, work on. And we said we were not going to wait till the new year. We were going to start now. So I went and got a gym membership, um, joined the gym, started going like a couple of times out of the week. I was not consistent off and on. It was a battle off and on, off and on, on. Start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. <sighs> Given that, given that gym all of that money, and I wasn't consistent. Um, 
but I started to also work on my mind. Um, I realized that I needed to really, really start working, getting myself motivated. So I started listening to Les Brown, Eric Thomas, um, Jim Ron, just a couple of people. But I, I started really trying to work on me. So I'm listening to some of the things they're saying. Um, and then I'm, I'm trying to apply some of those things in my life, um, being consistent, being disciplined. And then there were areas where I had discipline on lock. And then there were some areas where I struggled. So becoming the it girl. Okay. So in becoming not the it girl, becoming that girl, um, I had to start looking, and I'm telling you, from 2017 to 2018, um, 2019, I had a lot of off and on, off and on, but I never stopped. I never stopped. Um, 2020 came. You already know. <laughs> you already know what happened in 2020. Y'all already know. So I heard somebody say that we, we picked up the, uh, something, the weight in, in 2020. And I was like, it looked, for me, I picked up double weight for 2020. So I gained 40 pounds. I'm not afraid to say it. I get, I, I gained 40 pounds and between 2020 and 2022, I gained 40 pounds. So I had to start to, um, in, well, actually in 2020, I really started looking at what I wanted, specifically what I wanted to change. Now, with the weight, I knew I wasn't because of the way the world was set up. So I knew I was still working out at home, but again, I wasn't really consistent. It took, um, but I started working on different things that I could work on. I started, I did a life coach um, class. I read, I read a lot, you know, I would do the audible books and I would also uh, listen to different types of podcasts on, and then, and actually in 2020, I, um, started to see a therapist the end towards the end of 2020, because my life as a child, it was so much that went on that they left some trauma as an adult. So instead of me blaming everything that happened in my past and, oh, I can't, you know, and, and Lord help me, but some of us as Christians, we just say, God going to heal me, God going to do this, and God going, yes, he will heal you. But the truth is there are some things that we have to work out as well. So you need, some people need to go see a therapist, you know, um, to understand why we have certain behaviors. You know, we want to blame everything. You know, we want to give everything to God um, when he's saying some things, some things you have to go through because it helps us to change those behaviors. It helps us to um, realize, oh, I do this because of that. You know, why do I buy so much food? Why do I? Because you didn't have any when you were a kid. You know, why don't I buy? Because, you know, you didn't have enough when you were a kid. Why do I yell? Why do I? Th and a lot of that stuff goes back to your childhood. So becoming that girl, first of all, you have to figure out who that girl is to you, who that woman is to you. Who do you want to be? Now, I'm not saying go look at your friends, go look at and become something like them. No, the authenticity, the authentic you. Because God created us all unique. The Bible says we're fearfully and wonderfully made. He did not say that he created us to be like Sister Jan. Let Sister Jan be Sister Jan and you be who you are. So, um, the way he created us is that he will allow his light to shine through us. Uh, we all have the same light, the same spirit, but the truth is we are unique. So he may allow, he may use me 
to speak to um so yeah like i was saying we are all fearfully and wonderfully made and god put something awesome and uh, so we cannot be like Sister Sue, uh, our brother Jake's. We have to be authentic and be who God created us to be. So be, becoming that girl means you need to find out. You, de you have to um, evaluate you. So if there's things that you want to, um, in areas of your life that you want to grow, so... For me, example, I gained those 40 pounds. Those 40 pounds have got to go. Bye. And not only do they have to go, um, they're going to go and they're going to take some extra with them. So, and I'm not going to just pray God in the name of Jesus. I am going to ask God to help me, help me to be diligent not to overeat. Um, so, in becoming that girl, that means, one, I'm going to lose weight. Two, I need to start saving money. Three, I need to start making some extra money. So I'm not saying that I am that girl right now, but I'm, I began the journey in 2017. I fell off the wagon. I jumped off the wagon. Come on here, somebody. Some of us have jumped off the wagon and have not looked back. But I do know that I want to live a long and prosperous, healthy life. So I need to get back on that wagon. Shoot, I need to start driving the wagon, you know, to the horses, you know. So I have to create um, a plan. I need to lose weight. I need to save money. I need to um, make some extra money. So there's a couple of other things that I'm working on. You know, I went back, started back to school, still working on that whole situation. But <clears throat> becoming the it girl, becoming that girl, I keep saying the it girl. I'm not the it girl and neither are you, but you want to become that girl. So that looks like you need to start working on a plan. And it's not, you're not going to become that girl overnight. You have to work on a plan every single day. So um, first of all, see, think about who you want to be. And I said that before, but let me go into detail with that. When you think about what you want to be, you have to, you have to begin to see yourself there. So as I'm saying, I want to lose weight. I need to begin to see myself losing weight. And I also need to be realistic. And that means I have to start um, a meal, meal prepping. I have to start meal planning. I have to start exercise. Ooh, ooh, I got that part together. I have started also um, meal prepping. The thing is, they're not always healthy meals. So I have to really, really, and it's funny, I brought the bowl so I can prep them. Um, but instead of me prepping the more healthier, I've been prepping stuff that I don't have no business prepping, like fried chicken, <sighs> smothered in rice and gravy. I shouldn't be milk prepping that. <laughs> but um, I do sometimes prep my salad for the week and all of that. But I, I do need to get back on the... Um, wagon. So my thing is, I have not become what I want to become, but I'm not who or what I used to be. Not what, because I'm not a what, I'm not a thing, but I'm not where I used to be. So bless God, I am on a journey and I invite you to come along with me as well. So um, well, I'm going to pop in and out about because I know I'm I'm busy. I know you all are busy as well. But from time to time, we're just going to chat about being, becoming that girl and just talking about your journey. Where are you at now? So I have, I started small. I started walking one, twice a week, doing uh, a half a mile, a mile. I got to the point where I'm doing two miles. And it went from one day a week to way up to four days a week. Um, the days I can't get out, I will work out at home. There is this awesome, awesome, awesome um, 
trap music. I forgot the name, but I'm going to find, I'm going to um, put, it, it's awesome. It's all dancing. And I've watched some of the ladies that's in this group shrink and they work out. Sometimes they do live. Sometimes I'll just pop on one of their videos and they're just dancing. I love to dance. So I'll do that as well. Becoming that girl. One, I'm going to lose weight. Two, and I know the amount of weight that I, I'm just telling y'all 40, but I know the amount of weight. And then two, the saving money. The Three, the making money, making extra money. So um, those are the three areas that I'm working on right now, but I'm also reading. I'm trying to read at least 15, 20 minutes a day. And then I'm growing my YouTube channels. I have another YouTube channel as well. Um, and definitely the business that I, the venue that we rent out, we are growing that as well. So there are different areas of my life that I'm working on becoming you know, but I'm so glad that I'm in a place where I love myself because the truth is there was a time where I don't think I loved myself the way I should have. Um, I think I was so busy on, I'm not going to say comparing myself to others. Well, maybe I was comparing myself to others and it definitely wasn't in a good way. Um, because I, I, yeah, I guess I was compared. And it was almost like God made a mistake with me, you know? So I wasn't angry with God. I, I think I was more sad because I felt like I just could not do anything right. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes I felt like I was giving my best and it still was not coming out right. But let me tell you, we, he is my daddy because we serve such an awesome God. In 2020, God just woke me up to me and just how awesome I really am. I'm not talking and I'm not trying to, please trust me, I'm not bragging on myself, but I began to fall in love with me. Um, and I was, I come to the point where I was like, I'm not perfect and I was okay with my flaws. And instead of cringing, like everybody sees me make this mistake, I was like, ah, we all make mistakes, you know, and that might be easy for some of you. But for me, I found out that I was a perfectionist, which sucked because I wasn't doing stuff right. So what would happen is I would do something um, like, say, for instance, I would be on our I would be at church and um, I would be told to do something in the microphone. So I'm in the microphone and I say a word backwards. And when I say that word backwards, it wouldn't even be the congregants face. It wouldn't be the members of the church face, but in me, I would cringe and all, I would just have all of these crazy thoughts and I would feel bad about myself. That I said, I would do that at 10 o'clock in the morning. By 10 p.m. at night, that thing will still be rolling in my head. So I want you to just write down below because I'm going to run. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, what What is becoming that girl to you? Are you changing? Are you growing? Is there something in your life that you want to be doing? Um, something you're doing to improve yourself? What does this whole title mean to you? Please share um, and leave me a comment. All right. Thank you for visiting me. Hit like and subscribe and be blessed. Love you.